hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl boma and today or let me say i realized that i have new subscribers and um i noticed that in some of my videos i or my vlogs i barely introduced myself at the beginning of the vlog i just call my name and that's on it so i've come here to introduce myself properly to those who have joined this family this wonderful family and to also welcome you all to the channel so the name is boma and i'm a content creator based right here in the uk i do stuff around lifestyle and a little gist here and there about living in the uk and you know few tips on how you can navigate your way living here right in the uk so if this is the kind of content you love to see or this is the kind of content you subscribe for thank you for joining this family because you would not regret it so welcome to the channel guys and let's dive right into this video so on today's video i want to let you all know that i'll be going to um i'll be going i'll be visiting london for my son's international passport yeah um, my first son's passport has expired and you guys know because i'm done with my schooling i have to actually um switch my visa to the post-study work visa or to um or to a work visa so um we're actually going to the embassy not that we are going for fun or anything we're actually going to the embassy so i was like okay let me document this process because I'll definitely come and talk about my experience renewing my international passport um, at the Nigerian Embassy um, in the British High Commission in London. So I was like, why not? If not, so I want to vlog it and, you know, show you guys our way all through and, you know, the, the whole drama and the whole stress while we, you know, um, why we make this journey and this trip to London. So we are going from Middlesbrough to London um, for our passport. So I want to show you guys what we're going to be putting on <laughs> because I and the kids are going, uh, my husband, myself and the kids are going because we just want to stroll. It's not like my husband alone cannot go and do it for my son. He's the only one that has his passport expired, but we just want to take like a trip down to London and you know, enjoy the ride or the train or bus or whatever it is and you know do one or two days in london then basically come back so we are all going together so um that's it so see this one here i'm carrying him uh, i'm carrying this one uh, 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 it does not allow me rest this is my handbag so <laughs> this is the reason why i don't put out content every day if not i wish most times i could just give you guys content back to back every day but handling kids and you know toddlers and kids under five generally is a whole lot of work so um i'll try, try my best to get you guys snipers here and there of our journey but let me just show you guys what we are going to wear to for the trip and from there on i hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video all right thank so guys this is what this is what my last baby is going to be putting on so this two piece is what we are going to be wearing that's for my last boy he has not worn it before. It's still new. That's why this stuff is still here. We, where are we really going to most times? So, this is what my younger boy is going to be wearing. Then this is for my daughter. My baby girl will wear this. And her jean. So, she'll be wearing this and her jean. This is what she's wearing with the jean. And my son will wear this. So this is for Denzel. Denzel too also wear this with a jean. And um, this is mine. This is mine. That's my jean. And my hoodie. So this is my hoodie. Let me open it well. So you guys will see my hoodie, my red hoodie. So that's what I'm wearing, and that's my red headband there. This is my red hoodie. That's my gym. And this is for the kids. 
yes so that's what we're actually wearing for this trip um truth is i already packed their bags that school bag there i already packed their bags and i've put some of their 90s and some clothes in there so i'm kind of ready just wanting to prepare i've packed their bags i just want to prepare um the kids now shower them but that will be after they eat shower them you know get them dressed um then you know just arrange the house and and keep the house in a neat condition so that when we get back you know everywhere is going to be clean and very inviting <laughs> like when we get home we won't be tired and all that so that once we come back we just lie on the bed and you know we are good to go so after now i'll bathe the children get them dressed and just clean up the house then take another shower again before i get dressed and do all my makeup and um we'll be on our way so that's it guys i'll see you all later bye this is my this thing it's too big so guys that's it i'll see you all later bye for now so guys <laughs> i know you all be wondering what is happening here and why it's so dark <laughs> so we left with um the 12 30 um, national express bus so it was more like a night bus we took to london and we got there like let's say five in the morning you know just because we want to be early and at least be on the queue on time because i heard there's always a lot of queue there so guys i just wanted to show you guys this part too because if it's one place like that hmm, they're not born you where to go and enter night bus so you can see that in this So guys, we actually got to the Nigerian British High Commission. I've been mean, waiting they call them or Nigeria Embassy, whatever. My brothers and sisters, hey hey, come and see Q Q Q that uh, Q that went to Harvard. I don't know why everywhere Nigeria just wants to stress you, even in the abroad when you think you have escaped. Nigeria will just come and meet you there in their abroad and want to stress you. Like, why do we all have to stand outside like refugees just because we want to take a passport? I feel like this is the only country where people want to take passport and people stand outside like this. Like, I was literally standing outside with my husband and my kids. At a point, I got tired. I said, I beg go. No be Mickey who die. I had to just go and look for the closest madonna um fast food and go in with my baby because i couldn't afford to stand outside anymore so i left my husband with my son and i had to come into this place you know to um kind of secure the baby because you know all of us went there so they didn't let us in they said they will not open the door until nine o'clock so for starters if you're trying to get your international passport please as much as possible please just go there on time so that once the door is open you'll be the first one of the first 10 or 20 people that they will attend to if you go there after like eight nine or yeah, it's your case so because the queue eh the queue was too much ah ah Shkai wahala. Early morning, person don't the queue outside. Like, can't we just do things differently? Like, even in London, can't we do things differently? 
Anyways, I took my daughter and my baby to Madonna to just get um, breakfast. We had to have something to eat um, because, you know, we just got down from the bus. So I got some burger, I got some um, tea. And so we decided to just stroll around, you know, where the British High Commission is, that's the Nigerian Embassy is. It's kind of in the city center. So we said, okay. Let's just take the kids and stroll down there. Let's take a few pictures and see, you know, just for sightseeing and, you know, small waka waka. So that's where we are all going now to go and take pictures and, you know, feed our eyes. now we literally finished on the let's say three hours maximum max so which i feel is even less because we spent most of the time outside standing so three hours maximum you're done and before you know you'll be useless in london especially if you're one person that books airbnb to return the next day to your city that's for people like us that live in cities that are really really far so we are just looking for kind of activities to enjoy so guys um you know we wanted to do sightseeing but we found out it might not be interesting for the kids let me show you guys turn the camera and show you guys so that's where you buy your ticket then you climb the double decker buses and they take you around london for sightseeing but for me that it's just going to be fun for me and my husband but that will be fun for the kids so we're looking for something fun for the children before we go back to our airbnb because when we get back to the airbnb it's just to relax sleep and hopefully jump on our bus back to middlesbrough um the next day which is tomorrow so we'll try and see if we can just give them a little fun activity here in london before we go so if you're coming to do your passport and you're coming from far if you actually use a night bus Maru, to I come in come in the morning i think you can if you can go back that same day so there's no need to book airbnb or waste your money on airbnb or start disturbing anybody that you want to spend maybe one night in your house because of your passport you can do it and book your flight and you book your um, bus or your train and return to whichever city you are that same day so basically you don't really need you don't really need an airbnb or you don't really need to spend money in london to stay but if you want to still enjoy london you can just use the opportunity to like um book airbnb you know take it so around buy the bus ticket you know discover london and just enjoy yourself so guys i will see you guys when i get back to the hotel or after this because we just finished taking pictures here and um it was really nice. So maybe after now, I'll see you guys in my next life. This guy is trying to quit his job. And that's the New York City. This cowboy is running from himself. He's been living on the higher side. That is cool, huh? His name is Akito. We are all the way from Japan and this is our first time in London. It's a beautiful city and it's a beautiful audience.